Hello everyone, my name is Oliver Mathea and I'm so excited to be introducing you to my next course called Keys to the Kingdom, which is an eight-part video journey into the mystical and vibrational reality of the ancient language of Aramaic. And for those of you who haven't come across Aramaic before, Aramaic was the original language that Jesus, Mary Magdalene, and the mystical community of the Essenes spoke. And I was first introduced to Aramaic when I really started diving into the Bible and looking into the teachings of Jesus, at least as it was written in English. And when I would read these quotes, when I'd read these teachings written in English, something felt missing. It almost like they weren't in their whole form. They weren't in their complete form. And this is how I really started diving into the depths of Aramaic, because Aramaic was the original language that these quotes, these verses were written in. And unfortunately, they've been translated so many times over the ages that a lot of the true meaning, a lot of the core heart value of these teachings has been literally lost in translation. So when we start exploring Aramaic, we're literally reconnecting ourselves, our consciousness, our spirit to these teachings and literally unlocking deeper wisdom and deeper magic into what perhaps Jesus and the Essenes were truly trying to teach. And that's why I'm so excited to be bringing you this course because we're going to be going on this Aramaic journey into these realms where we'll be exploring eight Aramaic words and phrases, which I call keys, because when we dive into some of the deepest understandings of these keys, they literally function like a key, opening a door or unlocking true treasure that can be found. And so as we go through the course, we'll be doing one key each week, and we'll be looking at each key first from a mystical and a spiritual dimension, right? We're going to really be looking at the true wisdom and teachings inside each key, but we're also going to be looking at the linguistic Hebraic roots of each of these keys, so we can truly see not just what the word means, but the individual roots or components of the words. What are they truly trying to communicate? We're also going to be looking at scriptural references things like the Bible, Gnostic teachings, other spiritual traditions, which talk about these keys to really help round out our full spiritual perspective on each one. And ultimately, and perhaps the most important part of this course, we're going to be looking at how do we embody the wisdom, the vibrational transmissions of each of these keys into our daily life? How do we bring this Aramaic language into our lives in a way that's truly transformative and awakening? It helps expand us as a person and as a spirit. And also, I'm so excited to be teaching you how to speak, how to chant, how to tone these Aramaic keys, because that's where some of the deepest wisdom of these Aramaic words lie, not just in the intellectual understanding, not just in the spiritual openness of these words, but how do we vibrationally connect to them? How do we feel the vibrations of this language in our field and allow that to fundamentally shift our spirits and to awaken our consciousness. So if you're curious about Aramaic and you really feel a calling, almost a magnetism, to dive more deeply into this language and perhaps further expand your understanding of the Bible, of the teachings of Jesus, then this course is going to be perfect for you. And we're all going to come away with a greater perspective on perhaps what these great saints and sages and teachers all those ages ago, perhaps what were they truly trying to open for us? What has been locked behind mistranslations and misunderstandings for hundreds, if not thousands of years, just waiting for us to find these keys, to open the lock, to open the door, and to bring us through into true treasure. So if you're called, please come join this course, The Keys to the Kingdom, and it's going to be a truly fundamental and profoundly transformative journey. And I'm so excited to see all of you there.